Hey everybody and welcome to episode 396 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, May 30th, 2018. So, the prodigal son has returned and he comes bearing illnesses for all. So sick. What's going on man? What happened? Summer cold man. Summer colds are the worst. I think the weather just turns. It's nice and sunny out. You want to go to the beach. You want to like hang around Bramps. That's what we call Brampton. With like your shirt off and rib fest was, rib fest was on. And you, and you just, you've been sick. So how are you feeling the time with your illness? I don't know man, it's self pity. Self pity? Nice, thanks. Uh, well, Ricky, uh, we've got a big announcement to make today. Um, so, and it's not related to any variant cover or anything that's coming out because we do have announcements coming about variant covers, particularly our Amazing Spider-Man number one cover, which we're going to have details about very soon. Uh, but no, we're talking about Stadium Comics once again being at the forefront of technology and commerce. You can now find Stadium Comics on Amazon Alexa. What? What's that? Amazon Alexa uh, does these cool things called flash briefings and uh, we've got a, a daily update, a daily flash briefing for you to listen to. So if you've got an Amazon Alexa, go on there right now, uh, go on your, your app and search for Comic Book Countdown. That's a show directly from Stadium Comics featuring the uh, sultry tones of yours truly. Um, reading off a top 10 list of comic books that you should be adding to your buy pile uh, the, for the coming Wednesday. Um, yes, I know Ricky. Get, choked, get choked up over it. It's okay. Um, so what that means is uh, each and every weekday uh, I'll be presenting two to three books that you want to add to your buy, pi buy pile or your pull list or what have you for the upcoming Wednesday. Uh, so these are just short, like minute, minute and a half to two minute clips uh, where we go over some of the details uh, of the books being released and we count it down all the way up to new comic release day and you can get your briefing each and every morning. So we're really stoked about it. Uh, it's super cool to play around with this. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of people are saying Amazon Alexa is going to be big. A lot of people got them for Christmas. Uh, smart home speakers are like the next the next uh, era that we're entering in. Maybe maybe even it's going to be bigger than video one day. Who knows? But for the time being, not only can you see us here every Wednesday for Unboxing Wednesdays, you can now listen to us each and every day on your Amazon Alexa. So uh, please check that out and uh, you know, give us any feedback you might have with regards to it. If you want to shoot us a review as well, especially, especially if it's like a five-star review, you want to go ahead and do that on Amazon, that would be cool. Just saying. Anyway, Ricky. Enough uh, about Stadium Comics uh, being innovators, trendsetters, and all-around good-looking bearded guys. Let's go ahead and open up some boxes. Alright, first up today from Black Mask, we've got We Are the Danger, issue number one from Black Mask. We've also got a second printing of Vampironica number one. And new on shelves today is Vampironica issue two. New from Aftershock Comics, it is Pestilence, A Story of Satan, number one. Star Trek Through the Mirror, issue number five. Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number five. It is the start of the Harbinger Wars 2, with Harbinger Wars 2, number one. A new one from Image Comics, it is The Last Siege, issue number one. Uh, it's written by Landry Q. Walker, a New York Times best-selling author, illustrated by Justin Greenwood. The neat thing about this book is it's actually got uh, a, you know, a pro story in the back of each one as well. This is the first issue. Blackwood, number one from Dark Horse. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number 252, featuring Baroness. Here's Saga, issue number 52. And the fifth and final issue of Barrier gets released today. Barrier, of course, the story by Brian K. Vaughn and Marcos Martin uh, talks, talking about like the ramifications of illegal immigration into the United States and did so in a multilingual format. How many of you were reading the first issue and were just like, how am I supposed to understand all this Spanish stuff? Uh, or conversely, if you're Spanish, how am I supposed to understand all this English stuff? 
Well, it was meant to do that. Um, it was meant to kind of uh, put you um, in a place of not understanding the other side, I think, and uh, I think they were able to achieve that pretty well. Okay, moving on to DC Comics. It is the uh, fifth week of the month, so a lot of the regularly scheduled comics that you might see on the shelves uh, did not ship today. Uh, but what DC's done instead is they've given us some annuals. Uh, they've given us uh, a bunch of Hanna-Barbera crossovers. Those are always fun. And uh, they've given us a countdown to a particular wedding that's happening. They've given us a little bit more of the Doomsday Clock and Brian Michael Bendis' Man of Steel. So let's show you all of that. Uh, first up, we've got Green Lanterns Annual, number one. Green Arrow Annual, which is a No Justice tie-in. So if you've been following No Justice, you might want to pick up this issue. We've got Black Lightning Hong Kong Fooey, issue number one. Uh, and of course, here's the variant cover. The Flash and Speed Buggy. Uh, I'm told in this book that the that Speed Buggy actually, uh, you know, gained some power from the Speed Force. So that should be pretty cool to see. Uh, and here's the variant cover. And then we have Super Suns, Dino Mutt, and the Blue Falcon. And there's the variant cover for that book. <coughs> and how could we forget Aquaman Jabberjaw? This, um, this is the regular cover. And this is a pretty awesome variant cover, I gotta say. Then we've got Justice League No Justice number four. This is the conclusion of No Justice. Another beautiful rap cover here by Francis Manipal. Now at this time I'd show you the uh, countdown to the Batman Catwoman wedding issue that deals with Robin and Ra's al Ghul. Uh, but unfortunately our distributor uh, did not ship those to us by accident. We've got replacements coming in. Uh, but we don't have uh, one to show you. Maybe Ricky uh, can throw up an image of the cover. That should be in your local shop today. Go check it out. And the Doomsday Clock is ticking away here with issue number five. Awesome Joker cover here by uh, Gary Frank. And then here is the variant cover. And a lot of people have been looking forward to this book today. It is the debut, the full issue debut, that is, of Brian Michael Bendis writing for DC Comics with his uh, six part. It's Man of Steel issue number one. This is gonna be coming out weekly. Uh, and this is, this is Brian Michael Bendis uh, doing what he does, writing comics for a man in red tights once again. Uh, so we're really excited about what this book will bring. Can't wait to read it and uh, it's gonna be awesome, I think. Okay, big week for Marvel Comics. We've got You Are Deadpool number five. I wrongly stated last week that number four was the final issue, but here's number five. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number 19, X-Men Red Annual number one, Marvel Superhero Adventures issue number one. This is actually a really awesome looking all ages book that Marvel's putting out. Daredevil number 603, Marvel 2 in 1 Thing and the Human Torch number six. This is the variant cover. Here's Spider-Gwen issue number 32. Here's the issue 32 variant. X-Men Blue number 28. Here's the variant for that book. We've got uh, True Believers Exiles number one. This is again uh, Marvel reprinting some classic X related tales uh, and for only one dollar US. So definitely worth a pick up. Uh, same with this Wolverine Evolution book. Both of those are easy adds to your stack of comics this week. Infinity Countdown, Captain Marvel, number one. This is another in the line of Infinity Countdown tie-ins that lead up to the Infinity Wars event. How many of you checked out this, uh, this guy over the weekend? It's Lando, double or nothing, number one of five. This is the regular cover. Here's one of the variant covers. And here's a third variant cover. All right, now today is all about, I, I know Man of Steel's out, but it's uh, it's really all about Amazing Spider-Man number 800, isn't it? Um, before we get to that though, second printing of Amazing Spider-Man number 799. And here we go, it's Amazing Spider-Man number 800. 80 pages, one story, no holds barred. Now, uh, written by Dan Slott, and then you've got some of the most uh, awesome people drawing comics for Marvel Comics, contributing art to this book in, in some way, shape, or form. Not everyone makes it out of this book alive. I think, I think that's been kind of 
hinted at as we uh, have gotten closer and closer to its release. Uh, some crazy stuff happens in, uh, in the pages of this book. You'll definitely want to be picking up a copy. Um, that is $9.99 US, so it's a high dollar value price point. Um, but uh, consider adding it to your pull list today. It's not every day that uh, you reach a landmark issue like 800, and it's Dan Slott's final issue. Um, so this is the Alex Ross cover. Here's the blank cover. I believe this is the Mark Bagley cover. This is the Terry Dodson cover. Frank Cho cover. He's all about those wheat cakes. Here's the Greg Land cover. I really like this one. It's the Paulo Rivera cover. And the 800 is in the window, which is cool. This is the Nick Bradshaw cover. This is the Mark Bagley cover. Apologies to the person who drew that other variant. John Cassidy cover. The John Ramita Sr. cover. The Mobius cover. <coughs> and this cover is a tribute to a John Ramita cover as well. So lots of variants. Lots of variants that I didn't show you that are like higher end variants, one in 200s, one in 500s, one in 1000s, but uh, already got those packed up to ship to our customers who bought them on stadiumcommerce.com. All right, prize time. I'm going to go really quick because of my voice. I don't know if I can hold up for this whole segment. Two weeks ago, we asked you if you're more excited for Deadpool 2 or Solo. Um, T and Comics said if you want to see Angry Parents storming out of the theater, then Deadpool 2 is your movie, not Solo. Uh, the Mac Phantom left us with a sweet poem, writing, There once was a guy named Deadpool who laughed loudly and played the fool. But a villain named Francis fought our hero fancying his chances until Wade punched him so hard he couldn't make stool. How long that one take you to write Mac Phantom? Probably a long time. But the winner goes to Ronald Kahn who said Deadpool 2 and I want to see it again as the best post credit scene ever done and I consider myself a big Star Wars fan. Not a lot of love for Solo in those comments, man. I don't know. And the box office numbers show it too. Apparently the box office is not that great. Poor Solo. I'm sure it's a fine movie. Uh, and then last week, Kevin asked you for an alibi for me because I was missing. Uh, Plush said, well, obviously Ricky vanished with a snap of Thanos' fingers. Poor, poor Ricky. Yeah, I wasn't feeling too good last week and I just disappeared. Gom Guy Rules says Ricky is away because he's having a special on superhero waxing this month. And with summer coming, it is a busy time. I got a lot of hair to get rid of. It's true. Waxing takes a long time. Juan Typhoon says, Ricky is in Antarctica singing holiday tunes with Magic Snowmen because we all know that when it's summer is up, here it's winter in the southern hemisphere. Hug a penguin for me, right? I think it was those penguins that gave me this illness, so I ain't hugging any more penguin. Mike Irish said, I think Marvel canceled Ricky because Disney doesn't own the movie rights to Ricky. My hot license, you know? Everyone wants it. No one can have it except me. So, Black Hunters Club, I appear in that, and nothing else. But the winner goes to Jabiz Cred, who said Ricky's been trapped on a deserted island by his nemesis, Cool Ricky, and he's currently learning the ways of the survival from the indigenous squirrel population. It's true. It's where I, uh, it's where I learned all my survival techniques, is from the indigenous squirrel population. So congratulations to those winners. You're going to be going into the draw that will be happening right now. So because there's five weeks this month, we have five answers. We have the two we just read, Deadpool 2 and uh, Jabez Cred. So they're going to both go into this box right here. Uh, Cartoon Faceboy, who talked about the gimmicks of blank covers. I oh, didn't like that. Jake's Hollandhead, who's just talked about the post credit scene for Venom, where uh, Cleves Cassie shows up. So that's going to go in there. And uh, Gollum Smeagol, who talked about Lady Mechanica being the best book for free comic book day. So all three of those answers is going to go into this box here. I'm going to mash it up, mash it up, mash it up. And the winner goes to Jabez Cred with his comment about me being on a deserted island. Congratulations, Jeb is cred. Just send your information to info at garmingpogs.com. I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. All right, for this week's question, I need your help getting rid of this cold. Uh, what comic book related character or storyline or anything can I use to get rid of this cold? Um, I was trying to go to Doctor Strange. I heard he was a doctor, but he told me he couldn't help. So, I don't know. 
Let us know in the comments what's the best comic related way to get rid of cold. And the answer will be entered into the draw for next month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember to check us out on all these social media channels. And now on Amazon Alexa as a daily flash briefing. Check that out. Ricky, I'm even going to include the link to that uh, down in the you description. Do you need Alexa to listen to it? Or do you... Uh, you do. You do right now. Well, I'm, I'm, tr I'm working on ways to get around that. Uh, been in talks with Jeff Bezos. Uh, to try to see how we can get that out to the people. But uh, for now, it's just on Alexa. Um, you can see this guy this weekend at a little convention known as Niagara Falls Comic Con. Ricky, what kind of stuff can people expect? Regular stuff, man. Black ones, the PT. Can they expect to be uh, stricken with your illness yes. if they meet you? Okay. I think I should be better. I, I should hope so, but you know, uh, people out there, if you're gonna go see Ricky, you might want to bring some Purell or something with you just in case. That's good. And then, other than that, tune in next week for episode 397, everybody. Take care, enjoy your comics this week.